All right, just pause in the upright position, give you a quick visual of the next thing. I mentioned that we're going to work on calf flexibility. So this is a little warm up or test of your ankle movement and calf flexibility in a standing forward bend. So I'm just going to come down into a relaxed forward bend. If you want to hold the back a bit straighter, if you can, if you prefer to just relax, you can relax. I've got the fingertips on the floor just for a bit of stabilization. And we're going to just work through a series of pressing up to toe point. And then here's the fun one. Pull the toes off the floor as hard as you can as you sink back into your heels. So this is all movement around the ankle joints. Breathe into the back of the body, relax the head and neck. And just use this as a bit of a gauge of how straight can you get the knees in this standing forward bend when you're strictly keeping your body on the legs. Pants, but I can guarantee it's pressed straight. And before I do anything else, I practice trying to stick my bottom out and up towards the ceiling, and that's already a pretty strong stretch for me right behind the back of the knee. But if you need a stronger stretch, all you would do is start to move the chest and armpits through towards the stretching foot without letting this happen. You'll get further if you do that, but you're cheating yourself, so don't do that. Stick the bum out and only open out the shoulder angle as much as you can, keeping the bum untucked. So, off you go with that to the side. I prefer to come back up onto an arm support, get the hands under my hips, and lift up with my arms. So I'm taking the stretch off the hamstrings, and then you can just pull yourself out of it. Okay? And when you can, take a breath in, stand up, and see how that all feels when you walk around a little bit. Don't feel anything in the hamstring in that exercise. <laughs> Let's do a pike now. Legs out to the front. We haven't done anything with the toe point, but we did a bit of that yesterday. So just point the toes as much as you're comfortable with. Sit up nice and tall. Try to keep the legs straight. And then how far can you bend forward into a pike? If you can reach the ankles, hold there. If you can reach the outer part of the feet, hold there. You can use a combination of pulling with the arms and or think about using your hip flexors to pull yourself along the legs. Go as far as you can and then just let the head hang forward. So just have a little play with that full movement now. Good. Can we soften the knees to get us there or...? Never. Of course you can. I'm <laughs> 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 Yes, we're actually going to do this exercise as a bent knee exercise with a partner in a minute. But I just wanted you to have a feel of your pipe after the sequence we just went through. How does it feel? Beautiful. Well, that's good. So we want to get the back as straight as Technically, yes, the back is straight. So I tend to go into it with as straight a back as I can, add a little bit of arm pulling and then just let everything round from there. Just hang there so that you can hold it comfortably. Yep. In terms of the straight back, it's really the lower back that we want to keep as straight as possible. I don't really think it's technically possible to keep the whole spine completely straight in that position. We tend to round a little bit, but what we don't want to have is just a round in the lower back. Okay. All right, I think we'll leave it there. Cool. All right, well, we'll have a break for five or 10 minutes or so. Just go get a drink and stuff. And then we'll come back and we'll go through a couple of these exercises as a partner exercise, and also work on the pike and work on the fascial release techniques for the lumbar spine. Okay, we've stretched and mobilized a bit, but we haven't actually done any release work there. It's great, thank you. You're welcome.